back to Live on Bowen, coming to you live from Melbourne, Victoria's best capital city. <laughs> now to a man whose anagram name is Sink Had Yak Jizz. <laughs> Uh, now, he's not in at the moment, which is uh, kind of a good thing because uh, I wouldn't get away with saying that if he was. Uh, with his political activities, here's some footage from his chambers. Do look, Joe Singer. Hey, pal. Hey, man, what the hell are you doing here? Isn't this past your bedtime? Yeah, Mum forgot to pick me up again, so I'm sleeping here. <laughs> no, 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 you can't sleep here. Get out. I've got some interns coming through. Okay. Interns? Yeah. You know, since I got voted as Knox City Council Chancellor. I've been really busy and I need some help. You know, between that, my ridiculously amazing stand-up comedy career and my application for the Vienna Academy of Arts, I barely have enough time to even polish my boots. That's why I'm giving a platinum opportunity for a young go-getter to become my intern. <laughs> hey, man. No! What, what do you even need interns for? Well, I might need one, you know, to get me a hamburger, or even a frankfurter, or Ava, my brawn shaver. Look, just get out, I've got Sandy, Candy and Brandy coming through. Well, can I have mine comforter? No, just get out! Oh, oh I gotta sleep! <laughs> Hello, thanks for coming in, now have a seat. <sighs> yep, that's, that's fine too. Now, uh, first things first, are you over 18? Yes. Great. Are you, are you under 19? Yes. So you, you're young enough to be a fan of SS Club 7? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Now, you have a lot of skills here that make you quite suited for politics. You're studying to put yourself through law school. I hear you're quite good on the polls. Um, how are you at ping pong? I'm sorry, what? Never mind. Um, look, what I'm looking for is more... You know, not so much Big W as much as it's Hugo Boss. What kind of special skills can you bring? Well, I can play the didgeridoo. <laughs> how are you... How are you at Tin Whistles? Uh, not great. You know, I, and I am uh, a ventriloquist. You can make it talk? <laughs> That's gonna come in handy. Great. That's all I really need to know at this point. Um, do you have any questions for me? Yes, do you have any maternity leave? It should be a problem. The platinum always wraps it. Oh, great, because I'm pregnant. All right, I'll find a way to work around that. Great, because my husband, he... Your husband? Sorry, sorry. Look, three is company, but four is a crowd. Uh, thanks for coming in, Candy. Um, don't call us. Shame. My name's Sandy. Got any change? Sandy? Right. You know that this is a job interview? What are you interviewing for? Well, I need an assistant for my political activities. <laughs> I was political advisor for Kevin Rudd till about a week ago. <laughs> a resume? Look, are you willing to work for change? Kevin promised me change. Promised everybody change. But all we got was fat wife, sauce bottle, Bloody immigrants stealing all of our... Yeah. Our hearts. <laughs> Get out. Gamma no seven! I'm never gonna find anybody. Oh, shice. That'll do. You're hired. And we're missing him this week, so we'll see you back again. Thank you very much, Dill. Next week you'll be back. <laughs> that was weird. Every week we broadcast uh, to you, uh, live in front of a studio audience. Here's how you can be part of the fun.
Looking for a good time on a Friday night? Come on down to RMIT University in Melbourne and enjoy the Live on Bowen studio audience experience. To book your free tickets now, email audience at liveonbowen.com. Welcome back. Now it is time for Battle of the Bowens. <laughs> Hello, Dilruk Jai Singer. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Each week, our co-hosts, who are all here this evening, <laughs> are amongst the smartest people on this stage. They face off in a battle of wits to get one step closer to this season's super special fun Happy Mystery Prize, which is right behind that curtain. Ooh. This week's game is Queensland or Deutschland. Oh, crikey. I'm going to read a bizarre news story and our contestants will have to tell me whether it's from Germany or Queensland. Guess correctly and you'll bask in the warm glow of the Sunshine State. Guess wrong and you'll get the sour taste of kraut in your mouth. <laughs> Let's play Queensland or Deutschland! <laughs> Michael, yes. you are first. <laughs> I don't know why that came out weird. I just want to say yes. That was, that that was, was really Michael's, Michael's version yes. of German. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. An artist caused controversy when he created toilet paper with the image of Adolf Hitler on it. Was it Queensland or Deutschland? Uh, uh, I want to say Deutschland's pretty sick of that guy. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, well, that picture does look like the Incredible Hulk with a bit of stubble. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that's stubble. Mm. Um, <laughs> okay. Hulk <I'm>... unemployed! <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> Hulk not grooming enough. Um, Your official answer, Michael? I would say Queensland. You would be incorrect. Ah. It is Germany. The artist stated Hitler's not around anymore and now people can enjoy rubbing it in his face. Oh. <laughs> Haven, you are next. <laughs> A woman was sentenced to 60 hours of community service after she threw a tampon dipped in lime juice Ooh. at a drive through employee. Yeah, right. Delicious. Was it Queensland or Deutschland? <laughs> Did they not get the French fries or something? Yeah, <laughs> she must have been angry. I want to know how they tested to find out that it was lime juice. <laughs> Someone had to put that through a lab. Um, <laughs> Most likely, we hope so. I'm going to say, I want to say, I want to say, I want to say Queensland because, you know, tropical limes. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. The correct answer is, in fact, Queensland! Oh, oh. oh. That. oh that was massive. <laughs> that was like that, that guy in James Bond where he takes the You pizza. killed one of our uh, three audience yeah. members. <laughs> We're now down to three audience members. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, now, Dilruk, you are next. Yes. A oh, fake yeah. census was distributed with questions about favourite drugs and penis length. Can you please not play with your crutch when I'm saying <laughs> Did you get that one? Yeah. A fake census was distributed with questions about favourite drugs and penis length. Mm. Was it Queensland or Deutschland? Um, drugs and penis length, that, what do you think? It um, um, seems like... Would uh, the Germans do that? Would they they would seem very methodical. I yes. feel like they would... True. They're that the, they'd they'd measure a lot. There. There's a lot of measuring and yeah. calculating. So I'm going to go with Deutschland. Nice pronunciation. Singer, you would be absolutely correct. <laughs> Are the crazy questions included? Have you had your breasts enlarged? Offici officials said the forms looked identical to the real thing but were noticeably bigger in size. Oh. <laughs> Great call. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael. Yeah. A, Catholic <laughs> a Catholic church was broken into and someone urinated in the holy water. Guys, can we have the graphics oh, sorry, up on me. the screen oh. for this one? Oh. That's the wrong graphic. <laughs> That is the correct graphic. Uh, okay. Uh, Michael, was it Queensland or Deutschland? Uh, it's pretty tacky and tasteless, so I'm going to say Queensland. Uh, hello to all our viewers in Queensland. Sorry. <laughs> we have viewers? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the correct answer, Michael, was Germany. Uh, A Catholic church was broken into and someone urinated in the holy water was Germany. Oh. Uh, probably didn't need to read that again. Oh! oh! That's, uh, OH&S coordinator. Two audience uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't make the cards, I just throw them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Gambit says. Okay, no. the, uh, the next one, for Haman. Yo. The bishop thought of replacing the stoop where the holy water was kept, but to so no, that's the wrong <laughs> the line for the last one. Move on. A man was thrown in jail for drunk driving on a motorised. That's why we don't read off these on a motorised esky that he outfitted with a two-stroke engine. Was it Queensland or Deutschland? <laughs> Uh, I think that they like engineering in Deutschland. Yes. So uh, I but would it's, say. What's an esky though? It's that's, an esky, and that is that's, Aussie, that's a quintessential Aussie mate. Yeah. Mate. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I say. I'm gonna say Queensland. You would be correct. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Why am I helping you? The news: A man had his esky confiscated to spend a night in the cooler. Right. Hey, I want to bring this home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and finally, Dilrook. Let's do this. A small town shocked mourners when it erected a coffin-shaped toilet. <laughs> you said it erect. Yes. And there's a picture there on the screen. Was it Queensland or Deutschland? Dilruk. Uh, I'm thinking because it's outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Out that house. it's out, uh, out likely, unlikely that the Deutschland people uh, would be uh, pooing outside. Uh, I think. It's not I think Wunderbar. It's, it's not. It's a cold bar that comes out. Uh, it will be Queensland. <laughs> Queensland is the Thank correct you, answer, Dilruk Jai Singer. <laughs> which makes our winner this evening, Heyman Kent. <laughs> Heyman Kent, you are one step closer to winning this season's super special fun Happy Mystery Prize, which is right behind that curtain. That's what I thought. Our comedy guest tonight is from Adelaide, so don't hold it against her. This year, she won the world's most prestigious stand-up comedy competition. So you think you're funny, she's absolutely fantastic. And you're going to love her. Please welcome Demi Lardner. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm Demi. I love germs. <laughs> I love them. Uh, I think I love them because they're so honourable. You know what I mean? You know when you're eating something and you're really excited about eating it and you're like, mmm, the food, and then you drop a bit on the ground and all the little minion germs are like, quick, go get it, get on the food, you've got to wipe the spot, great kids, it's got a mortgage. And then the president germ is like, no. <laughs> no. No, we will wait three seconds. <laughs> For that is the rule. I love germs. Um, hey, you know when you're hanging out with friends, what's that like? Um, <laughs> no, you hang out with friends and uh, you, it's just a little group. You know most of them. Uh, maybe you don't know one of them that well, so you're kind of talking to them. You're trying to get to know them. And uh, you offer them a chip from your chip packet. And uh, as they go to take the chip and put their hand inside, you just slowly clasp. <laughs> from the outside, just wait for them to be okay with that. And then you're not alone anymore. I love that. Um, so I think, uh, this is just a thought, I think if I ever have uh, kids, uh, if I do that, I think I'm gonna name all 15 of them. Um, I think I'm gonna name them all Yeah, so that when we're in the house, I'll be like, hey, yeah, and they'll be like, yeah! And I'll be like, nah, yeah! <laughs> and we'll all scream yeah forever. And I won't have to raise them. <laughs> um, so I remember when my dad told me about the birds and the bees. He said, Demi, it's time I told you about the birds and the bees. I left the window open in the lounge room. They got inside and they messed everything up. I don't know what to do, they're flying around and I should have said this before, the birds are bald eagles. <laughs> they look hungry, they've taken your mother and your sister and I've never dealt with this before so I don't know what to do, I think maybe if you call the police. But just before you do do that, I need to tell you, I am the birds. <laughs> And the bees. Also, if you root people, you can make smaller people. <laughs> that always stuck with me. Thank you very much. I'm Demi Lardner. Demi Lardner, ladies and gentlemen. Come here.
we half after the break, we've got music from Esther Hall. Don't go anywhere, you're watching live on Bowen. <laughs> Raise the roof.